Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Minecraft skins and I'm going to show you guys how to design, create and make your own Minecraft skins. So if you guys have been wondering how do I make my own skin in Minecraft, I'm going to show you guys the steps you can take to actually be able to create your own skin and then export the skin file and then finally import it into the game. So as you guys can see, I am using a custom skin which I created and it's a fairly simple skin. I haven't actually done much to it. It's just a few colors that I've put together, but it does look different to the default Minecraft skin and I was able to create this skin fairly easily. It took me about a few minutes to create it and then import it into the game. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually create your own Minecraft skin and then import it into the game. So this is actually going to work on all versions of Minecraft. So obviously I am playing the latest version of Minecraft Java Edition. This is the latest version 1.17.1 but this method will actually work for MCP aka Minecraft Pocket Edition and also the Minecraft for Windows 10 aka Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So I'm going to show you guys now how to make and create your own Minecraft skin and then import it into the Minecraft Java game and the Minecraft Bedrock Edition as well. Alright so to begin with we're going to open up our internet browser and then we're going to search for Minecraft skins. So let's go ahead and type in Minecraft skins. You should see a website that says minecraftskins.com and it says minecraft skins the skin decks so if you just click on that link it will take you to this website which should look something like this and you can go ahead and download some of these other cool skins which other people have created and uploaded onto this website so i'm going to show you guys how to actually be able to do that how to create your own skin and then you also be able to upload your own designed skin onto this website so other people can actually go ahead and download your created versions of the skin and the next thing I'm now going to do is click on the editor link over here in the main menu. So as you guys can see, it should say editor here on the top. So I'm going to click on this editor link and it should load up the page, which looks something like this. And it's really cool because we can actually see a 3D model of our character. So if you guys have a look at this, it's really cool. And I do like the way they have designed this. And it does give us a lot of options here. And we can go and fine tune our skins. And I'm going to show you guys a bit of the features in this section here. So obviously you can see this is the 3D model. If you do get lost and you are wondering which is the front facing side of your character or which is the back facing, it's really easy. If you have a look at the right hand side section here, I can can just click on my left arm as you guys can see over here so I do know that this is the left arm so obviously this is going to be the front facing section so if you guys do twist and turn your character and you are wondering which is the front facing side this is a nice and easy way to do it I can actually go ahead and hide some of the other body parts and just focus on the head if I wanted to do that and I could do that same thing for the torso and the legs as well as you guys can see so obviously we do have a lot of options here another cool thing I do like about this is that we can actually edit the inner side of the body as well as the outer layer so as you guys can see we've got two sections here it says body and outer layer so if I click on outer layer I've unselected it now I can actually go ahead and edit the inner body section so this is really useful if you guys want to give yourselves some sunglasses or outer layer stuff this is really cool because it does add some depth to your skin as well you can also choose which kind of skin you want to make so you can go for the 4px model or the slim version as well depending on your personal preference we also do have a color pick over here so as you guys can see this does give us a lot of flexibility and we can choose multiple colors over here and it does use the normal color code here which some of us may be used to if you've ever used programs like photoshop or gimp for example on the left hand side we do have some basic controls here so you can see we have the pencil tool we have the eraser we have the auto tone the color picker and then obviously the bucket tool as well which i think is really cool obviously we do have the undo and redo functions here and we have the darken color and light and color as well and obviously we have the zoom in and zoom out one other cool thing is the mirror tool over here so i can actually click on this and now if I wanted to make any edits on a particular part, so if I wanted to color or edit a single leg, it will duplicate it on the other leg as well. So for example, if I was to color into this, you can see that it is actually mirroring the selections and the edits I am doing on the left hand side and it's putting it on the right hand side as well. Here we have an example 
of a skin that is created by someone else and as you guys can see what they've done is they've edited the inner body and for the outer layer they've actually done the jacket and the sunglasses so we do get that cool 3d effect that the character is wearing some sunglasses and they have the outer jacket as well this is the skin that I showed you guys earlier and as I mentioned earlier I did spend approximately one to two minutes making this it was fairly simple all I had to do is just select the bucket tool and then fill it in if we have a look at the individual body parts you can see that I've actually gone ahead and done the editing on each side of the 3d model and then it gives us that effect so as you guys can see it's really simple to use the skin and anyone can actually go ahead and create your own skin for minecraft java edition or minecraft pocket edition mcpe or the minecraft bedrock edition aka minecraft for windows 10 once you are finished editing and designing your own skin you can actually go ahead and upload it to the skindex website obviously you do have to create an account and register on the website but you can go ahead and do that so other people can download your skin or you can go ahead and actually download your skin to your own desktop and then use it in the game so to do that just click on the download link over here and as you guys can see it's now downloaded a png file and it's got a really long name but don't worry about that you don't need to actually open this file all we need to do now is actually import it into our game so to begin with i'm going to actually open up the minecraft launcher for the java edition of the game and then i'm going to show you how to import this skin into that version all right so as you guys can see i have placed that downloaded skin onto my desktop and now I can actually go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher and once the Minecraft launcher is open all you need to do is go into the skin section of the launcher which is on the top here so just click on the skins tab on the top here and you will see it says current obviously this would be filled up with your previous use skins but if you guys are doing this for the first time you might not see that many skins on here and to apply that skin all you need to do is click on new skin over here click on browse and I'm going to navigate to my desktop and select the PNG file and it should actually display the skin which we created earlier and at this point you also have the option to select slim or classic for the player model as well you can go ahead and give it a name as well so I'm going to call this game of potion skin and I'm going to click on save and use so as you guys can see it's now applied the skin to my game I can now go into installations and open up a Minecraft game so depending on any type of installation that you guys have on here or any version for Minecraft Java edition hopefully that should import your skin into the game so as you guys can see it's now loading us into Minecraft Java edition version 1.17.1 and I'm gonna go into single player create new world and let's go into the game and have a look if the skin actually works or not all right, so as you guys can see, it has loaded up the game now. And if I just press the F5 key, we can see that the character model is showing. And this is the skin that I did select earlier. And let's just get rid of the HUD over here. So as you guys can see, it now has the skin which we created and I've imported it into the game. So you guys can do the same. If you do own the Java edition of the game, you can just go to that website, create your own skin and then import it using the default Minecraft launcher. It's that easy. All right, so let me show you guys how to do the same thing for the bedrock version of minecraft all right so for those of you who are on the bedrock version this method should also work for the mcpe version of the game as well which is the minecraft pocket edition of the game because i do know that some of you are actually playing on the mcpe version of the game as well so for that version and the bedrock version if you guys look on the bottom right here it does say a dressing room so on the latest version they did change it before it used to say something else i think it used to say profile but now it should say dressing room Room. so click on dressing room over here as you guys can see it should show your different skins that you have selected over here so let's go to a blank one and click on create character and if we click on the second tab over here as you guys can see and then click on the own section there should be a button here that says import so just click on that and click on choose and select that skin and click on open and then it will obviously give you a choice of whether you want to do the classic model or the slim type model so let's go for the slim type model over here and as you guys can see it's now 
loaded the skin into the game so similar to the java version i showed you guys earlier this should work on the bedrock version and the mcp version as well let's go back into the main menu and let's play a single created world let's create a new world here and let's go for the creative mode and create this and let's wait for the game to now load up all right so as you guys can see it has now loaded up the game and we are in the minecraft bedrock edition i have also gone ahead and enabled my own minecraft rtx texture pack so if you guys are on the bedrock version and you do want to check out this texture pack i will leave a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and download that as well so let me just press f5 and as you guys can see it has loaded up the skin for the character as well and it looks really cool i do like the bedrock version of the game as well they do have some nice models as well some nice animations i am using a mod here which is called the new player animation as well i think that looks really nice and it's really fun to play with so as you guys can see it was really simple to actually load up this skin into the bedrock version of the game and the same thing should also apply to the mcpe version of the game as well if you guys did find this video useful please do give us a like and also if you guys have created any other skins using this method do leave them in the comment section below so others can see what you guys have created and if you have any questions or queries about how to create your own minecraft skin for minecraft java edition or minecraft bedrock or minecraft pocket edition aka mcpe then do leave them in the comment section below and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching